So in this video we're going to look at some practical steps for fixing a hacked Joomla website. Now what we're dealing with here is a, uh, uh, a hack of a small Joomla website by spammers, by, by people who are trying to exploit the website one way or another. Uh, these people normally are not trying to destroy the website but they're trying to use the website for some nasty purpose of their own. Uh, normally they don't delete core files of the website but they rather upload nasty little files in subdirectories. So we're going to show you some steps you can take to fix your website and if you're not comfortable with these steps then we're happy to, to help you or you can get another professional web designer to help you. So, how to deal with a hacked website. First, we need to download a copy of website files. And look at files and folders recently modified. Look at files with unusual file names and look for patterns. Now, here is a website that has been hacked. I've just been alerted by the hosting provider that it's been hacked. Uh, and uh, I have taken a copy of all the files, put it into a zip file and downloaded it onto my computer so I can uh, more easily search through the files. Now we mentioned unusual, unusual names for files, so here is an unusual name, license. And this is not a file that should be part of the um, the core of a Joomla website and is obviously a hacked file. Now if you're not sure if a file is part of the Joomla core or not, compare it to an, an ordinary Joomla installation and uh, see if it is uh, similar to the standard core files that should be in a Joomla installation. You'll see that this file is not part of the core and is deliberately named with a similar name to an authentic file in order to trick us. So we'll remove that file. And I would also remove that file off the server. Now what about privacy? Now this file has got some interesting looking code in here that makes no sense to the average reader, but is part of a typical hacked file. It uses the eval code to decompress this and execute some scripts on the server. So we do not want this kind of file around. So we'll delete privacy. Now, we will look for patterns of files that might con contain things like this. So we saw the eval code and the base64. So I use Notepad++ to uh, look for files like this. Here again is a, a nasty little file that shouldn't be there. But let me first do a search for other files like it. So I'll look for files that contain eval, files that are PHP files and that are in this folder. And so I do a search and I look for all files containing this kind of code. Now some of these files will be authentic files that should be part of your German installation. Some of, them, some of them are not, and uh, it is hard to know which is which, but uh, over time you'll learn to recognize what is part of your Joomla core and what is not, what belongs to uh, components you have installed and what has, does not belong there. So uh, now that I've done my search, I, I've found eval in 60 files. A number of these are in the admin tools folder, which is a component I have installed and I know is safe. So I can skip those listings. Then there are some in Com Explorer, which I believe are okay as well, having checked it earlier. But here, this one looks a bit strange. It might be okay, it might not. So it is a, uh, a time of guessing to try to work out what is what, what is a hacked file and what is not. And uh, 
Sometimes if I'm not sure, I will do a Google search for some of the content of the file and see is that a file that should be part of my German installation or is it actually a hacked file. See, we've got a few of these files there in the cache folder. Now, cache can be deleted. We can empty the cache folder, so we don't need to have these files in the cache anymore. Now, this file here looks very suspicious. It's called images, and it's a PHP file in the images folder. Now, that is that shouldn't be there. The images folder should just have pictures and maybe one HTML file. So this is another hacked file that we need to get rid of. So as you see, it is a manual process. It takes a bit of time. So go through and also look for files and folders recently modified. So on the server, like we mentioned that there's a file that's nasty in the images folder. And you'll notice that the images folder has been updated more recently than many of the other folders here. That means that there's a likelihood that there's been a recent change in this folder that might be malicious. And then when I look in the images folder, then I can see this file uploaded December 14th, 2015, which should not be there. And we can see this file that shouldn't be there, January 15th. So look for files with newer file dates, but sometimes hackers will upload files with timestamps that are uh, deliberately modified. So uh, this file, for example, appears to be from January 31st, 2014, but again it looks very suspicious and is most likely a hacked file. So you have to go through manually, look for files and folders recently modified, look for files with unusual file names, look for patterns such as these, and uh, remove files or hide files that you're not sure about. Then upgrade your website to the latest version of Joomla. Check the plugins and components and modules, and uh, do a bit of research to find out if some of the plugins or components you're using are vulnerable. See if they are out of date uh, and see if there are any known security threats regarding the versions you're using. Remove unwanted plugins, components, modules that could be causing issues. However, normally speaking, I see hacker attacks caused by the version of Joomla being out of date. I see that far more commonly than due to issues with components. The reason for this is that hackers are looking for an easy way to get into websites and so they're searching for uh, the bigger picture of German websites being vulnerable and they're far less uh, targeting individual components because they know that components are not used on as many websites as the core of Joomla itself. So if they can get into the core itself, it's a lot easier than targeting just a component. So make sure your website is up to date with the latest version of Joomla. Install a firewall. A firewall will help protect your website from further exploits. Akiba admin tools, RS firewall are great tools to, to have. Run a backup of your website and regular backups, knowing that the, some hosting providers do run backups, they will charge you a fortune for you to access the backup. So run your own backups and also check with your provider what prices they will charge for a backup in case you do not have one. Having gone through very carefully, remove the files that are suspicious from your website. It is time to change passwords on the server and change passwords in Joomla. Usually these hacker attempts do not gain access to the password of the website. They only gain access to uploading files and that is how they exploit your website. But just to be on the safe side, so you don't have to repeat the whole process again, change the passwords on the server. And finally, monitor the changes on the server. It is common for hacker attacks to recur. It is common for them to try again to infiltrate your website. So in a week, in two weeks, check the website again. Look in the, the files and folders directory and see are there any recent changes. Are there any changes there that you did not authorize? If there are, then deal with those changes and tighten firewall rules. Now the firewall is no good if there are already hacked files lying on the server, so it is very important to get rid of the hacked files entirely. 
Now, I hope this helps, and uh, if you need help with a Hack Joomla website, feel free to contact us at www.easyjoomla.com.au. Thank you so much for your time.